New York, a massive metropolis. Just one of many though, as the world's population migrates to cities in search of a better life. It's described as a concrete jungle by some, but urban oases like these are breathing life into one of the most densely populated cities on the planet. With more than 8 million people speaking over 100 different languages between them, there's only one word on everybody's lips when it comes to green living. Space. Definitely there's not enough, you know, when it comes to gardens. Uh, to have trees and to have green grass. I actually sometimes chill on my fire escape. Uh, just to get some fresh air. An ever-growing population adding to a city that can't physically get any bigger. Add to that mix the stress of living in one of the most competitive cities in the world and the optimum quality of life that we all want to enjoy becomes even harder to achieve. But don't worry, things are looking up. High above the frantic flow of life on the city's busy streets below are countless rooftop gardens like these. Clever New Yorkers are creating their own little piece of heaven wherever they can find it. So, Michael, why are these rooftop gardens becoming so popular now at the moment? Well, I think people really have an, a desire to connect back with nature. So these, these rooftop spaces are really the only spaces where people can can build out and, and sort of fit in. And visually, yes. I'm seeing green in, in a city that's full of what? Gray glass and steel. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and people, they love their parks, but they want to have private spaces that they can go, take their shoes off, walk and feel the, you know, the lawn, be able to pick their own tomatoes herbs, things like that. Something you um, wouldn't expect to be able to do in a city. Absolutely. So what are the benefits of having a roof garden like this then? For the owners, uh, it's a great asset. It's a great place to entertain. It's a great space to enjoy and have their own sort of private oasis away from the sort of hustle and bustle of the city. It, it just adds a calming effect to your overall life. Looking at this, what's being created, I don't know why more people aren't doing it. With almost 80 square kilometers of roof space, imagine what a New York covered in the green stuff would be like. Breathe and relax. Well, I'm no big gardener, Michael, and this looks fantastic. I'm already feeling that this must take a bit of work. You just have to keep in mind that, that it's going to require a lot of effort and yeah. maintenance. Um, it has to be mowed at least once a week. It takes ongoing care uh, throughout the year, um, spring, summer, you know, even into winter. Uh, there's a great effort that, that's involved in making it work. Effort means time. Yes. Surely a resource that New Yorkans don't have a great deal of. No, no, and uh, you know, and, and they're really, their primary goal is to enjoy it. it it's not to uh, take care of it. So how do you maintain a lawn all the way up here? After all, it's a bit more complicated than just having a few plants. It's not sheep, but it's something that's just as quiet and mimics the pattern of grazing sheep. Evolution may have provided the perfect lawnmower. The Husqvarna Automower just makes it a bit more practical. To find out more, I've travelled back to Husqvarna's Robotic Research and Development Centre over 6,000 kilometres away in southern Sweden. The Husqvarna Automower was originally developed here 20 years ago and is now a third generation product packed with some fantastic features. These are robotic lawnmowers. Right. These are designed to do the same type of job as a regular push mower or a ride-on mower. These are fully automatic. You install them, you leave them, they take care of all the lawn mowing for you. Can we see one of these in action? Absolutely. This is currently mowing the lawn. Yes. As we, as we see. I mean, it's quiet, that's the first thing I notice. Whoa, 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 what's going on there? That's going to go off the edge. No worries, Johnny. How does it know where the boundaries are, then? It's actually a small wire that is buried around the edge of the lawn. Right. And the mower detects that and knows inside from outside, so it, it stand, stays inside the wire all the time. But I've noticed, I mean, it's going all over the place. It, it looks kind of random. The purpose of that is to get this uniform cut 
not to have the stripes that you go with the conventional mold, you have stripes, parallel stripes. It gives you a certain look. We prefer the more natural look, the carpet-like finish, and so therefore it goes in different directions. Now there's a few obstacles on this garden. There's trees, there's a big boulder over there. I mean, what's to stop it banging into these and damaging itself then? On these trees, there is uh, there's nothing stopping it. So you will actually hit the tree, but very, very gently, and uh -huh. reverse back and choose another direction. So we use very sharp blade, yeah. and we cut frequently. So we cut basically every day, very little, maintaining the lawn, low power, low energy consumption. So, so is, it, is it battery powered then, essentially? It's battery powered. It reverses back to a charging station here, uh, let's say once every hour or so, and, and it fills up the battery, and then it goes off again, cuts, comes back. So we don't need a big battery either, because we can come back and charge frequently. But one thing else I'm noticing is, is well, it's the grass itself. I mean, it looks... It looks very different, it looks really lush. Different to a lawn that I see that's been cut by a lawnmower, it's, it's just the right height, isn't it? It's wet, it's, it's drizzling a little bit now at the moment. Mm. I didn't think you're supposed to mow lawns when it was raining. Well, this mower can, can mow in, in any weather, actually. The, the rain is not a problem. I can see automower going up that slope there. How steep can it cope with that? We usually say that if you can mow it with a traditional mower, then you can do it with this mower. So that, that's, a fair, that's a fair incline. The, the real beauty for me that I'm seeing at the moment is this is working away at the moment where the owners are either at work or down at the beach or at the gym. I mean, it really does free them up to do whatever they want to do, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. You can do whatever you like except mowing the lawn. <laughs> I think we'd all like to mow less lawns. Back in New York, I can't wait to hear what our garden expert, Michael, thinks of this idea. Hey, Michael, how's it going? It's fantastic. I love it. I think this, this will be a, a big hit, uh, not only for roof terraces, but uh, anybody who has a lawn space uh, and wants to take back some of their time. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? It's, it's giving you the time back to hopefully enjoy what this space is here for. Totally. What do you think about the cuts, the way it looks afterwards? Looks great to me. I mean, yeah. initially it sets uh, sort of a fun pattern, uh, but when you let it keep, when you let it go, you don't even see that the the, the lawn's actually grown. No, uh, it looks perfect every time. So, it's a keeper. Definitely a keeper. So the story ends where it began, here, overlooking the incredible skyline of New York. Some see a concrete jungle. I see potential, a place where a greener life can flourish because of our basic human need to connect with nature wherever we live. The Husqvarna Automower helps us along the way and gives us the time we need to enjoy it.